to my brother's wedding, uh, Michael, the seasoned traveler, left his carry-on luggage at the TSA yeah. check-in area. There were area. extenuating circumstances. There were not extenuating the details circumstances. Details of which you can go into later. Whatever. We he was a little. He was a little distracted. Needless to say, one of our carry-on bags stayed at the TSA. Don't say ours. This was all on you, dude. He loves to make fun of me that he's so organized and he's so detail-oriented and he would never make a mistake. Two and a half weeks literally later. Literally left it literally. at the TSA. Two and a half weeks later. Shane has been having <laughs> that bag looks like it's been through a war. And you know what the I mean the box. <laughs> yeah, it's Shane amazing. has been having conniptions because it's the boys' suits are in there and his dress shoes, and he got some Cole Haan really nice dress shoes that Michael found at DSW for like nothing. Well, yeah. And he we because he would never have Cole Haan shoes otherwise. Wow. And okay. Shane's been having a fit. So how long did that take? Two and the and wedding was on. The, we came home on the eleventh. Today is the 20, what is today? The 27th, because it's my niece's birthday. Happy birthday, Sari. We love you. Check your email. Um, Jake is on his way home. <coughs> the nurse just called, and uh, my little man is sick, so we're going to take him to urgent care. I think he has an ear infection. He, he gets, like, all clogged up when the allergy season hits, although usually for Jake, that's not till January during oak season, but oh well. I just filmed two videos. I'm feeling very proud of myself. Check this out. Well, there's nothing. It's all over the place. But I used the new camera. Look how, prof doesn't this thing look like crazy professional? Look at that. It took a few tries to get it right. I'm just gonna set you down here, my love. Whoops. Um, took a few times to get it right. I filmed my favorites video three times. Um, <laughs> just sound, getting the sound, it helps to plug in the um, connectors all the way if you want sound. Just, just a little tip, check your connections. If the cord's not plugged in, you will not have sound. Um, so I think we're gonna divide and conquer because Michael and I had planned on running errands this afternoon and obviously we have to take Jake to the doctor. So I think Michael's gonna take Jake. Love that he's at home. Love that Michael's at home. Like, I cannot stress enough how awesome it is. I mean, I never saw the guy for like 10 years. I know I get to see him all the time. I love it. Anyway, not, not sick of it at all. Cannot stress it enough. Love it. I don't know how it is for all of you, you ladies who have husbands that work out of the house, but I love it. Um, so he's going to take Jake and I'm going to go run errands because I have to get Kiki's birthday present because today is Kiki's 50th birthday and we're having a lunch for her tomorrow. So I'm picking up a couple things. I can't say what they are. Yes, I can because by the time this goes live... It'll be tomorrow at five. So we are getting her, a bunch of us are getting together and getting her a spa gift certificate at the JW Marriott Spa here in town. And then I'm gonna get her, in addition to that, um, the makeup bag that I got our other friend. <laughs> I'm gonna get her one too, cause it's a really, it's, I like it. I'm gonna end up buying one for myself. Hopefully one of them will get it for me for my birthday. I really want one. And then our friend um, Avandia, it's also her birthday this week. So I'll get her one too. And that's, and then I might put a little extra something in um, Kiki's bag because it's her 50th birthday. She's going to kill me, but she, I think she looks amazing. And if I look like that at 50, I will tell everyone I'm 50, but I'm not. I am not 50 just yet. Anyway, Jake should be here any minute. And other big news, we just got, we, we didn't get anything. Jake got an email today from Texas Tech from the Honors College congratulating him on his admission, not just to Texas Tech, but Texas Tech honors college. So I would say that, I don't know, between Tech and Alabama, even playing field is one thing, but honors, that's kind of hard to beat because he gets to live in honors housing, which is a really good environment. And <coughs> excuse me, the honors classes have no more than 20 to 25 kids in a class. You get all the benefits of being in a huge university with 30,000 plus students, but his college experience will have classes of only 20 to 25 kids and there's just they get priority registration and priority housing and they get they have go to professors houses for dinner every week and they have friday lunches with professors I, like how do you beat that experience i don't think you can if anyone has had a child go through tech honors can you please let me know nothing against alabama roll tide and all that but this is too hard to beat plus in-state tuition did i mention in-state tuition yeah so we'll see we haven't made a decision yet but it's huge news. We're very proud of Jake. Like, very, very proud. He's doing really well this year. So, I'm gonna go wait for him. 
I am back at my favorite stationery store slash gift shop. I just picked up birthday presents for my two friends, at least the first round of presents. And then, um, hang on a second. Sorry, I had to weigh in on some gift wrapping, but check out this table behind me. It's my favorite. They have just so many cute agenda things. And look at this notepad that I really want to buy, but since Jake hasn't decided, that's the Texas Tech theme. Or these. I don't think he would ever use the stationery. It's very girly. All the different agenda books and pencils and file folders. Ooh, Kate Spade. And just all the neat options for stuff. And then they have a whole wall of um, invitations that you can have printed. There's just all kinds of really cool stuff in here. So and then there's a whole room of John Hart stuff, which is what I just got for my friends. And there's the owner. She's going to wave. <laughs> hey, Missy. She's awesome. And her golden doodle. There he goes. Wherever his mommy goes, that's where he goes. So anyway, I'm just checking out and uh, then it's off to round two of birthday shopping. Hey guys, I'm at the JW Marriott at the Lantana Spa and I'm picking up Kiki's present. And I just want you to see it again. I've brought you here before, but it's really pretty. Now that everything is in bloom, with the vines, Isn't it pretty? This is the entryway. The gift shop is over there. And then there's this really great restaurant over there. And then you check in here, which is what I'm about to do. Actually, you know what? No. First, I'm going to look in the gift shop and see if there's anything I can get Kiki to put in her little gift bag. Some great products. Some really nice line of nail polish. I love Moroccan oil. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Oh, cute birthday stuff. Maybe I'll get her a little cute birthday thing. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Hey guys, so I just got Kiki's birthday present and there's a Dunkin' Donuts on the way home from my house. And I thought Jake deserved a special treat, so. I just did my hand sanitizer, so we'll touch this. Texas Tech colors are red and black. They have red and black donuts. So I picked one up for Jake as a little treat. He actually ended up having an upper respiratory infection. So he's home on a Z-Pack of antibiotics. And now I have black frosting on my fingers. I may have bought a donut for myself. Okay, I did. And I got Michael something. I didn't get Shane anything. Don't tell Shane, shh. But the evidence will long be gone before he gets home. I'm gonna head home and I'll uh, give Jake his little donut. I got home late from picking up Shane from football, so I'm just making lemon pasta, which is boiled spaghetti and then you mix in a bowl, like I have here. It's uh, two thirds cup of olive oil and two thirds cup grated Parmesan, so equal parts. Half a cup of lemon juice and the zest of a lemon, a little salt and pepper, and then you just toss, oh, and some basil if you have any. And uh, then you boil up the spaghetti doesn't have to be spaghetti, but I prefer spaghetti. And then just toss it in the pot. Reserve some of the pasta liquid because it'll kind of thicken up the, not thicken up, but kind of make the oil and cheese kind of just bind better with the pasta because it has the starches left over. And I'm today I am using this Protein Plus. It has 17 grams of protein per serving, so I can justify eating carbs. It's just kind of comfort food. Um, I was going to make chicken with it, but... Nobody's really hungry because everybody's stuffed up and when you can't breathe, it's hard to eat. So that's what is dinner, that's what, it, what language am I speaking? That is what is for dinner tonight. All right, we're winding things down here and the Westies have decided it's time for bed. There's me, Merce. And then Wrigley seems to think that it's his pillow. Wrigley. Is my pillow. So 
At least Bosley's given us the bed to ourselves so far. But I'm going to have two unhappy Westies very soon because they're going to have to move. So I have my iPad scrunched. Here we go. Okay. And my iPad. I just got to go wash my face and call it a night. So, do I still have makeup on even? It's like 10 o'clock. Oh, picked it off a little bit, but yeah, I do. All right, got to wash it all off and start all over again tomorrow. Good night, guys. I'll see you then. Now I'm going to the little girl department because Michelle, 1218, I think she Instagrammed it. She had the cutest shirt in the little girl's department. I highly doubt I can squeeze 